Hey guys, um, it's Katie again, and here's the second part to my little knife demonstration that I'm going to shoot today. Um, before I start cutting some of the vegetables, uh, um, I decided I'm going to make some of those chicken stuffed mushrooms that Sammy made for um, for everybody in her house. Um, my boyfriend loves stuffed mushrooms, and so he saw me flipping through those pictures on Facebook, and so he said, mm, I want that. So that's what we're making for lunch today. Um, I have a wood cutting board right here, and it slides around on the counter, so I'm going to put a damp paper towel underneath it so that it won't slide around. And I know I said in the other video, but in case you didn't watch the other video, um, one of my uncles actually made this cutting board. It's really cool. It's put together by, I think he said something like 10 different pieces of wood. But anyway, so today for the chicken stuffed mushrooms, I'm going to put some celery and some onions in it, so that's what I'm going to show you how to cut first. I bought some organic um, celery at Publix today. So you're going to take the hearts of celery and chop off the top half and chop off the bottom half. You want to make sure that you get all of that white part because it's not as tasty as the rest. This one has a sad spot on it, so I'm going to throw that one to the side. And I probably don't need that much celery for it. So here's the whole stock of celery and I'm going to dice it up really small. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it straight down the middle with my nice grip like I showed you in the other video. Thumb on one side and your forefinger on the other with a three wrapping around the bottom. So when you cut it straight down the middle in half, it makes two flatter pieces. And um, in culinary school they kind of turn, call this turning whatever you're cutting into planks so that you can cut it like a plank of wood. Um, and then also I try to make sure that the pieces of celery that I'm cutting are no bigger than the blade of my knife so I can just make one cut. So now I'm going to take these and cut them into smaller little sticks. I want to say a note about your other hand is really important. You always want to make a little claw and keep your nails tucked under and your thumb tucked under. You don't want to get your thumb coming around here because you could chop your thumb. So always keep your nails tucked under and thumb tucked under to make it nice and safe. So now we're going to cut the little sticks that I've cut. And you can see they're not completely even, so don't worry about it, but they're about the same size. So line them all up with your knife, and then you're going to use your claw, and you're going to chop, and you're going to use a slicing motion like this. Push your knife forward so that it works for you and inch your claw back a little every few cuts. And you can go slower if you're still getting used to this. Now I'm going to scoop them all up. And that's probably about how much celery I'll need for the two of us. I'm making lunch for me and my boyfriend, so I usually make things in twos. Um, the other thing that I'm going to need that I'm going to show you how to cut a little differently than you've probably seen it before is an onion. I usually like red onions because they add a lot of color to whatever I'm cooking. And um, I use the, the yellow or the Vidalia onions because um, I've actually been to Vidalia, Georgia, where they grow all those nice sweet onions, but they don't add as much color, and so when you're doing something um, on a diet, I try to make sure that everything looks really pretty, even if it doesn't taste great. So um, I'm going to cut off both ends of my onion. I know you've probably seen people on the network cut off just one. I'm going to cut off both ends. And then I'm going to go and cut it right down the middle. And then I'm going to take the outer layer, because I think it's kind of rubbery. I'm going to take the outer layer and the skin off a little paper. I'll do that with the other one. Now, my favorite way to cut onions is a way that a chef taught me while I was um, doing my internship at this restaurant called Nava in um, Atlanta. He said to peel the onion layers apart, and he was actually teaching me how to cut these onions for salads, which is a big thing in the HCG diet, so I thought I'd show you how. You take off the, um, the individual leaf and then smush it down to make it flat, and you're going to break it. That's okay. Now, use your claw, 
Now you're going to try to make very, very thin slices. And um, the easiest way to start out trying to make thin slices is to try to cut in the exact same space, exact same place that your knife is. And I'm using the slicing motion. You can slow down if you need to and then speed up. So, all of your onions are nice and even. And they're a lot smaller for when you want to put them in salads if you want them raw or something like that. Especially if you marinate them in a little bit of vinegar and salt and pepper first, it kind of takes the bite out of it. If you're sticking to the strict HCG protocol, you can use the apple cider vinegar, the Bragg's, or um, if you're venturing off just a little bit like we are, um, I use a 10 year aged balsamic vinegar to soak my onions in for a salad. Um, I make sure that I buy one that's um, from Italy and has no extra th anything added. So there's no sugar added or caramel color or anything like that. Um, it's just the vinegar that's been let to sit for 10 years. So I need a little bit of um, some dicing for the mushrooms. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line them up just like I lined up the other sticks. They're a little bit messier than the celery, but as long as they're about the same size so that they cook at the same time, that's all you're really looking for. And I think that's going to do it for today. Um, I will show you guys some other knife roll demonstrations on some other things that I make. Um, maybe I'll shoot another one tonight if my chef lets me buy some of the um, shrimp that he has that are really delicious. I might make a little shrimp Singapore stir fry and cut some peppers for you guys. So um, thanks for watching.